14, 33, Psalms 38 and 8, Psalms 38 and 8, Psalms 23 and 3. Psalms 38 and 8, Psalms 23 and 3, Amen. 1 Corinthians 14 and, 4, and, and 33, 14 and 33. Stand, please. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. As in all churches of the saints. Amen. Turn to 38 and 8 Psalms. I am feeble and sore broken. Uh -huh. I have roared by reason. Of this quietness of my heart. Psalms 23 and 3. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Right. Subject today is continuing of life. Last Sunday talked about life. This is the continuation, the conclusion of life. Rather than simply obey God, I believe we try to find answers that won't be uncomfortable. We wait for an easier way, but we stay miserable inside. What is God telling you to do? Be honest with yourself right now. If God was standing in front of you right now, what do you believe he would instruct? You to do in your situation. Bless the Lord. Don't go another day, month, or year struggling. Obey God's instructions. Remember, partial obedience is still disobedience. Come on. <laughs> Delayed obedience is still disobedience. Amen. Do what God is telling you to do. Knowing ahead of time that it's always for your benefit. God is not trying to hurt you. He's trying to help you. He sees what you don't see. Amen. You will never regret it, obeying God. Never. Your life isn't over because a relationship is. Your life isn't over. Young people, listen to me. Listen to me, young people. Your life isn't over because a relationship is. God wants you to let go of the past and get on a pursuit. He has big dreams for your life. We're talking about the continuation of life. When you are connected to a witch or the wrong person, you are abused or manipulated. It looks like lupus attack you and all the white cells attack your body. Self-hate comes into play. Rejection, no forgiveness, attacking your own self. Mm. Somebody turn to St. John 8. 31 and 36. This means that a forgiven sinner is a person who has been forgiven, but is still in bondage to sin. Are we in
in bondage to sin? John 8, 31 through the 36 verse. Jesus speaks of believers who are in bondage to sin due to ignorance. Uh -huh. But we don't have to be. In verse 36, Jesus tells us that if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. We are legally free from the power of sin. But we remain in bondage to sin due to our own ignorance of the truth. Just after Paul got done showing the saints at Corinth for rejoicing over a man who slept with his mother, Paul turned around and referred to them as saints in 1 Corinthians 6 and 2. But do you know that the saints shall judge the world? And if, and if the saints shall judge the world, are you worthy or are you unworthy? To judge the smallest matters. Amen. If Paul still referred to them as saints. Then I think it becomes clear. That, that a saint is not somebody who is perfect. By the things that they did. But somebody who's been made perfect. Through the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 10 and 17. We are not to dwell on our past sins. Hebrews 10 and 17. And their sins are iniquity will I remember no more. If God himself chooses not to remember our sins, then who are we to remember something that God himself has chosen to forget? My Lord. I'm talking about life today. I'm still talking about life. Hallelujah. We choose to pick and choose in the church or out in the street. Who is going to be saved and who's going to heaven and who's going to hell? Come on. Who left you, Jesus Christ? Who made you God? Hallelujah. That you can say out of your mouth. Hallelujah. That somebody is going to hell. Somebody is going to heaven. Hallelujah. Who are you to always rub their nose in their past? Who are you to always rub their nose? Hallelujah. You used to smoke and drink. Yes, 
are not demons this morning. They're not praying for you. They're not healing the sick. They're not opening the eyes of the blind. They're not making the dumb speak. But I'm here to tell you today. Hallelujah. Jesus will use you. If you let him use you. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. Hallelujah. He's upon me. He has carried me out. He told me to come here and preach. Life unto you. So you can start living. People are tired. I'm tired today. Men are tired. Women are tired. But I come to preach the life. And more abundantly. You're preaching. Thank you, Lord Jesus. St. John, anybody got it? Yes, please, to the 36th verse. Oh, bless the Lord. Yes, Lord. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, uh -huh. If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples. If the race is not given, hallelujah to the swift. No, is it given? that child. All right. All right. You can't raise anyone unless you get the Holy Ghost. Come on, Come on, to any man 
How sayest thou ye shall be made free? How sayest thou that you shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Means truly, truly. Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Whoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Hallelujah. You, you make that sin, you better hurry up and get on your knees. Come on. Don't continue in it. Amen. Because you'll be a servant of it. All right. And sin brings about death. All right. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. Uh huh. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Uh -huh. That's the only way you can be made free today. Anybody that's not saved, anybody that don't know how to call on the name of Jesus, only way you're going to have freedom in your life, only way you're going to be a bird without a cage. Don't cage the bird. Only way you're going to take wings like an eagle. Hallelujah. You got to let Jesus free you. Hallelujah. God said, Hallelujah, in Isaiah. Hallelujah. You will mount up as, as wings as an eagle. And you should run. Hallelujah. And not be weary. You should walk and not faint. You got to realize on this journey, you may come to a faint. But you ain't going to faint. You ain't going nowhere. Because God you too. You got to remember hallelujah, what God said in his word. Only you can have life in him. You can't live without Jesus. Remember young people, I don't care what a boy say to you. May break your heart. But Jesus will love you unconditionally. Just because a relationship is over doesn't mean God is over in your life. Come on, man. Amen. I want you to know something. God's not finished with you. No, he's not. Hallelujah. God's got the right man for you. Hallelujah. He's got the right girl for you. Hallelujah. Don't be into this. Hallelujah. I think this is my husband. Uh-oh. It's for your husband. You're going to know it. All right. You ain't going to think about it. It's to know somebody. Come on, Christian. It's to know somebody. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just after Paul got done chewing out the saints at Corinth for re rejoicing, I read that. Philippines 3 and 13. Brethren, I counted not myself to have apprehended, uh -huh. but this one thing. I do. All right now, forgetting Christian. those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Romans 2 and 4. Philippines 3 and 13. Romans 2 and 4. I John 4 and 19. St. John 14 and 23. I John 5 and 1. Romans 13 and 8. Meditating on God's word. And learning of the goodness of God is very powerful in the tearing down of strongholds. Incorrect thinking patterns hallelujah, based on lies. Hallelujah. And deception. Hallelujah. I believe one of those reasons King David developed a very intimate relationship with God is because he spent a lot of time alone out in the field with him. Ephesians 3 and 19. And to know the love of Christ, which passes all knowledge, that we might be filled with all the fullness of God. Hallelujah. My mother is all right. And my father is all right. And my father and my sisters and brothers are all right. Hallelujah. And I love them to death. Hallelujah. But you got to say to yourself sometimes, Hallelujah. I got to get alone. I got to be by myself. I got to separate myself. Because I believe, I believe one of the reasons King David developed a very intimate relationship with God because he spent a lot of time alone out in the field with him. And he said, and to know God, and to know the love of Christ, which passes all knowledge, that we might be filled with the fullness of God. You might understand my actions. You might understand why I do what I do, or why I say what I say. But I am seasoned. 
you about your sisters and brothers. Concentrate on Jesus. He will love you. He will love you. Unconditionally. God will come. Fill your void. God will come. Fill your emptiness. Give you something to live for. Somebody cry. is telling me, hallelujah, you want the Holy Ghost, you want to be saved, hallelujah, because you're tired of people saying what they, hallelujah, are not, people saying they say they ain't not saved, hallelujah, people talking about the Bible and not living it, hallelujah, but I want you to know, God never lies, God never lies, he's be Bible say, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes by the Father but by me. Believe in Jesus. Set your hopes in Jesus. Hallelujah. Love him. Fall in love with him first. Let the spirit of hell work up and down in your body. Let it work up and down in your spirit. Raise your hand and close your eyes. Get ready. Church. Every time I get into the building, it was the right one. 